And here we are, and York is still just kind of staring at this back alley trash can. <laughs> ah. What a scene, man! Hooey! <laughs> then they just plop you out here like a naked baby in the woods. <laughs> How about that? Ah, look, you know, it's probably a lot for you to take in, so uh, why don't you let me show you the ropes? What do you say? Enter Bending Rodriguez. A reign of ages plots again to wash away revolution. Revelation. Hey, I'm really having a little trouble reading that one. What? Oh, man. And you're a goddamn Malkavian, too. Wow. You really are fucked. <laughs> Who is this dark demon I see before me? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your hide and we'll trade life stories, okay? Till then, I got about this much time. You in or out? Yeah, yeah, I could probably use a little help. No one really taught me anything about you being a vampire. It's just like, ah, go to Santa Monica. By the way, we killed your father. Fuck, well, mother in this case. I shall undertake your dark tutelage. All right. Uh, why don't we, uh, step out back here? Let's just leave this theater of horrors behind. Rice, it's stuffy in there, huh? This is much better. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least, you know. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? <laughs> wobbly. Wobbly at the walls of my mind. I'm not that crazy am I but what beverage do you babble oh man we're popping a cherry here <laughs> oh you're gonna love this all right check it out blood it's your new rack of lamb your new champagne blood your new fucking heroin kid <laughs> get ready though cuz hey it's never as sweet as the first time I have my reservations on that particular comment Sweet like a prom date. Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Poor SOB can't find his car. <laughs> I get the feeling Jack just fucking moved his car. Like, picked it up and moved it down the road or something. Okay, this would be funny. How do I do this dread deed? Alright. You go down there, casual like. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feet. Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something, because it'll come so naturally you think you've done it a thousand times already. Hmm. Will he then carry the curse in his veins? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. Now go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to drain him dry, okay? Might be hard to resist, but don't kill him. I go to drain the luscious liquid. Yeah, my blood pull. Looks like a line instead of a pull, but okay. Now remember, creep up on the man. Creep up, this applies stealth. Cunning. And certainly nothing like this. There we go. Topped off. You just chill there. See? Eh? Stealthy. Stealthy. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Hell yeah, you're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born-again predator. Feeling that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about right there. So spooky. And when do I choose the color of my cape? 
All right, now, you got the blood, you're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living, but wait, it gets better. All kindred, kindred, that's a our word for vampire, all kindred have a few things in common. Things that set them right square above humans on the food chain. Tell me this tale. Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still, a chance at immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. Fringe benefits for joining the club. Did he say sharper senses? Not so much if I was deaf, huh? My lifeline will go on forever. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, it's worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. <laughs> a steak? Do anyways. Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, that's no problem. I bathe. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? <laughs> that's real trouble. Sunlight? Well, you catch a sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Get it? The sun is always a consistent thing. Like a bad sunburn. Okay, now. Jesus! What the fuck is this? I'm going in. I think. Am I? What should I do? Go on. Meet you in there. If you say so. Now what's the deal with the squiggly lines? Why are the power cords jumping like that? Especially like that. Got a lot of reason here, do we? Someone leave a love. Why is there already a fire? Link has been here. Oh, come on. Walls of my mind are wobbly. My feet are wobbly. Feats are the combination of various tributes and abilities. The higher your feet scores, the better you are at activities they influence. Like inspection. That's why it's all sparkly. You can pick them up. Fancy that. Aha, a lockpick. Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat? They're, uh. Oh, Christ, I was hoping to spare you this shit till later. Uh, the Sabat. No. They're mostly mindless, bloodthirsty assholes. That's all you need to know for now, all right? Where does this path lead? The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. Tell me of the Jesta, Prince. No time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. If not the sword. Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. Do you think they would just feel his power? And really, you're gonna use the gun. What's up? I saw that. Hey, where are you going? Dumb, frenzied, sabot bastards. Alright, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. I shall invade this orifice. Again, I'll keep those comments to myself. See ya, Jack. Now, tell me why a super strong vampire has to lock the door rather than simply remove the door. 
combination of dexterity and security, which you can buff up. But I don't think we have to on this. And you can uh, you can use blood buff to uh, increase your dex like right before that timer ends. It doesn't have to be up the entire time. Like you could do it right there. But that's got to be one of the shittiest locks ever made. Or we could just go through the window like Jack here. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh wait. Ah, uh, shortcut. Well, nicely done though. Not exactly an angel in life, were you? My halo was terribly tarnished. Cool. Now if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabbat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. Why need we hide our nature? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento, and it's... And it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. My eyes are beginning to open. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck-ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? Well, it ain't a casual thing for a fledgling like you. See, I have serious doubts that true Malkavians, true batshit crazy vampires, would really keep following that rule consistently. My mind is beginning to cloud. Shine a light and explain. That party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla? The assholes that put your sire to death? That's the Camarilla. Oof. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Ah. All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Paint me a picture. You do what you gotta do. Theft, destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. Again, why can't I just rip the damn door off the hinges? But regardless, I shall seek this key. Now, I don't think I really have to worry about this as a Malkavian. Feeding aside, none of my powers will trigger uh, a masquerade violation. They're all, men they're all mental abilities. Things that affect me personally without showing on the outside world, or affect other people in a way that can't be traced back to me. Like making someone laugh their ass off in the middle of the street for no goddamn reason. Sure, maybe they get hit by a car, but that's not my problem. Yeah, oh, yes. Read the note. It has a password. It's Chop Shop. Here's the computer. Or you can hack it which is going to be something I'll probably be able to make quite a lot of use of as a Malkavian, especially with Auspux. Which works in the same way Blood Buff does for uh, lock lockpicking. Lock picking. Lock picking. And on that note, how come I can't rip the damn lock off? Save. I know what the password is, but only one of my minds do. So we're going to hack. Ta-da! Now I unlock it, and then I lock it, and then I unlock it again, because that's what my brain told me to do. It, it's not up there, but you can just hit quit. Welcome, Jack. Are you fucking kidding me? Alright then. And then we take the key. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm going to check out things from topside. I will do this deed. It never expressly says how he gets up there. I assume he just jumps through the damn ceiling, Superman style. Which is something I wish you could do, but never get the opportunity to do. 
it doesn't matter how high your dex or your strength is, you jump the same height regardless. And then we walk out the door. And then we get drilled with machine gun fire. Well, Uzi fire. <laughs> Before you turn into dust. Baby was a fan of the Sabbat. Uh, the difference between real and aggravated damage. Real damage, like bullets and stuff, it's not too bad. You'll you'll physic you'll quickly heal that up as a vampire. But if you take like fire damage, if that bar turns yellow, you're in deep shit. Best way to heal that is best way to heal anything in this game. None. So I'm covered in bullet holes. How'd you get up there, Fucking buddy? Fucking waste of unlife, these Sabbat Vatos. You get a wing? Hey, hey! Look at them potholes! Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. It's not the freshest catch, but he'll do. Does blood have vintage in bouquet? Now, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for, not the quantity. Bums and lowlife don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well-bred human will. Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take what you can get. You ever had a PhD, kid? Ooh, that's good stuff. The thirsty rarely avoid an oasis. Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. It's not <coughs> the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. Oh come on, I drink a little bit of vampire blood, and suddenly I'm damned and fallen. That's hardly fair. That's right up there with being jailed for a bit of weed. What if I drain him dry? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. Now, for some, uh, very specifically for the gangrel, that's actually a great thing. You go frenzy as a gangrel, and all of your stats go through the damn roof. Everything is a plus four immediately. Well, all your physicals, anyways. I think it even stacks on top of the basic five maximum. So you could have like nine strength, nine dex, nine fortitude. <laughs> it's stupid good. Da -da -da. Yes, the dark beast coiled beneath the surface. The beast? It's always there, it's waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. Desperate, scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. What if a human tries to harm me? I, 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 I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. Self-preservation is a vital part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. <laughs> I think that goes a bit beyond self-preservation. I, th I think that goes straight into the enjoyment of Bane. Drain. Skin. Bash. And dash. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. And don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Such lines divide the world from the last. Alright, now go feed. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. Aye, aye. Oh, look, I'm already fully healed. See, all it took was the space of a conversation for some bullet wounds. If I was on fire, though, it'd, it'd probably still... Well, it'd probably be about halfway down. Maybe a third. Yes, yes, avoid. And he will drain fast, watch this. <laughs> much, much faster. You sit there. Not quite as good, huh? Eh, you could do worse. There's some rats down the way. You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you can stomach that kind of thing. <laughs> Ugh. His neck tasted like your breath smells. Well, give it a try. I need to floss the flannel from my fangs. Yeah, we're not so stuck up. We're doing it. Give me a goddamn whiskers. Come here, Whiskers. Gotcha. And hey, look, one less plague rat. The humans will survive another day. 
So, I did the thing. Oops. You... Never mind. <laughs> you rat sucker! <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that kind of thing. Etiquette demands they pass the salt for my rodent feast. Keep it down. Got someone around the way here. Only one. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have to sneak past. Where shall I sneak? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and stick to the shadows. And don't let him see you. And when we get back, I'll show you All how right, to go. sneak and sneak. I am gone. It's a mix of Dex and Stealth. And your, uh, the light shining on you. But we'll discover that later.